And by the way, we shouldn't be afraid of the word feminist. Men and women should use it to describe themselves anytime they want. Men have to be a big part of this conversation. Uh, Sadly, far too many men want nothing to do with this conversation. Gender equality is not a conversation that they're even willing to entertain, much less call themselves a feminist. No, no. <laughs> Hi and welcome. Let us talk about Emma Watson. In 2014, Emma Watson delivered a powerful and thought-provoking speech at the United Nations. And that speech, it continues to resonate today, particularly as we observe Women's History Month. It's a moment to reflect not just on historical figures, as we have done so far, but on the modern woman who, like Watson, are using their platforms to advocate for gender equality and to take their seat at the table. Let's look at what she said. Fighting for women's rights has too often become synonymous with man-hating. If there is one thing I know for certain, it is that this has to stop. Women are choosing not to identify as feminist. Why has the word become such an uncomfortable one? I am from Britain, and I think it is right that I am paid the same as my male counterparts. I think it is right that I should be able to make decisions about my own body. Why was her speech so important? Let us look at Emma Watson's emotional appeal that she made in her speech. Let's look at the impact and the response. And finally, let's have a look at why is this speech still important now? Watson, known primarily as an actress, stepped into the role of activist with her He For She campaign, an initiative aimed at engaging men in the fight for gender equality. In her speech, she highlighted a pressing issue. Gender inequality is not just a women's issue, it's a human issue. At the heart of her message was the idea that we all need to participate in breaking down the systemic barriers that women face, particularly when it comes to representation in politics, leadership, and even day-to-day -day life. Watson spoke at a time when, globally, women were still fighting for basic rights. Women made up just 24% of global parliamentarians, and the gender pay gap persisted across industries. Even now, as we mark Women's History Month, those issues remain relevant. Women still face hurdles in securing leadership positions, and there's a continuous backlash against their voices in male-dominated spaces. One of the most significant points of Watson's speech was her appeal to men to stand as allies. The He For She movement sought to remind us that gender equality isn't a fight women can win alone. Men must also advocate for women's rights, not because women need saving, but because equality benefits everyone. However, even today, there's resistance from some men as the rise in women's empowerment is often met with backlash, challenging traditional norms that some are reluctant to let go of. I started questioning gender-based assumptions a long time ago, when I was eight. Why it's still important now, as we celebrate Women's History Month, Watson's speech reminds us that the fight for gender equality isn't over. Modern women are stepping up claiming space and challenging societal norms, just as figures like Nellie McClung did decades before. We talked about her in a previous video. Go have a look at that. But this progress has to be protected and nurtured. We have made strides, but Emma Watson's message is more important now than ever. Her call, like Justin Trudeau's, for men to become allies in this movement and for everyone to engage in the push for equality continues to inspire. As more women, more modern women, fill up the space and take their seats at the table, it's crucial to remember that the journey to gender equality is not over. It's ongoing and we all have a role to play. What are your thoughts on Emma Watson's speech and the ongoing fight for gender equality? You can read the full text of the speech Emma Watson made at the United Nations Online. Share your comments below 
And if you're interested in learning more about gender equality movements, check out our other videos. This is our call to action. Do subscribe to our channel and let's keep the conversation going about gender equality and how to accelerate gender equality.